remote, beautiful, mysterious, unique. Islands are worlds of their own. Places apart where life has evolved differently. But in our modern interconnected world, islands are also part of a global community that's changing for better or worse. In this series, we're exploring the lives of islanders. We're discovering that no matter how distant they are from the mainland, how distinctive their histories, or how proud they are of their independence, islands can't separate their futures from the fate of humanity as a whole. In so many ways, these shores are the front line of global change. What happens here matters to us all. In the middle of the North Atlantic, at the edge of the Arctic Circle, lies an island nation on the knife edge of the world. Iceland is one of the most volatile places on Earth. Made by volcanoes, spewing out molten rock over millions of years. The Earth is still active. The island is still being created. And living here is a unique challenge. A big country with a tiny population. Huge swathes of the interior are uninhabitable. But in an unforgiving landscape, Icelanders have learned to survive. Instead of farming the barren soil, they harvest the seas. Instead of escaping the wilderness, they're harnessing its power. For centuries, Iceland's physical isolation has shaped and protected its people. They've developed a unique and homogenous culture. Their language is as pure as that of their forefathers, the first Viking settlers. But Iceland's remoteness is no longer a barrier. The outside world has arrived, and it's a world in a state of flux. Economies are changing. Climates are warming. And energy is a commodity that everybody wants. In commerce and in culture, Iceland is already a global player. In a land's land, no one's listening. This far-flung island has the power to make an impact across the whole world. I'm sure in this I believe in. This is the path it chooses will affect us all. Oh my God, I'm losing it. I'm Tradition going, or progress. My senses tingle, I can hardly breathe. Nature or industry. The old ways more than you. Iceland is one of the least populated countries on Earth. And one of the wildest. A geological hotspot. Iceland also straddles one of the world's most volatile geological features, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. 
It's a massive tectonic plate boundary, and it splits Iceland in half. As the tectonic plates pull Iceland apart, magma rises to fill the space. It's this volcanic activity that's forged Iceland's bedrock, and its construction is far from over. Today, the island boasts more than 100 volcanoes and more extreme geothermal activity than any country on Earth. Isolated from the outside world, Iceland's volatility usually goes unnoticed until nature chooses to remind everyone of its awesome power. In April 2010, Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull yogurt volcano erupted, bringing Europe to a standstill. Worried that the volcanic ash would cause jet engines to fail, aviation authorities cancelled thousands of international flights. As the costs ran into billions of dollars, the world looked for an explanation. The eruption that took place here wasn't big, but it was serious, because it produced so much ash. Haruldura Sigurdsson is a world expert in volcanology, living in one of the most volcanically active regions on Earth. Iceland has been inhabited for more than 1,100 years. People have lived with eruptions and felt their effects. In Iceland, it's so common, people regard it as an everyday thing. Even by Icelandic standards, this eruption was extraordinary. The ash creates new soil, like this layer here. It was because the ash was so fine that it spread out so far across the Atlantic. Due to the combination of steam, explosions in the glacier and gas in the magma, the ash was much finer. That's why this eruption created so many problems. But the effects of this eruption pale in comparison to a cataclysmic explosion that happened here some 200 years ago. These are lava fields at Eltrian. The moss-covered lumps are scars left by the flow of molten rock. The lava spewed from La Cagiga, a tectonic fissure that erupted in 1783 creating one of the biggest volcanic events in history. For eight months, deadly ash and lava engulfed the island, killing a fifth of its population. The ash cloud spread far, plunging the world into darkness and famine. Icelanders still live under constant threat of more deadly eruptions. At least these days, they're better prepared. All movements within the island's volcanoes are monitored. At the first sign of unusual activity, residents are contacted by phone and evacuated to a safe location. No one was killed during Ayevled de Yogurt's recent eruptions. In the shadow of volcanoes, Icelanders have learned to survive. Though the country's interior is so barren, most Icelanders are forced to live on the edge, in coastal towns and cities. Reykjavik is home to nearly 40% of the population. The world's most northern national capital, the city gets just four hours of daily sunlight in winter and almost round-the-clock daylight in summer. 
Reykjavik's natural harbor is the cornerstone of its wealth, a commercial gateway and trading hub for the country's traditional produce. Fish is Iceland's superfood. It's the country's most lucrative export and the one resource that's enabled Icelanders to survive. Over a thousand years ago, when the Viking settlers first landed on Iceland's shores, the forbidding landscape loomed large. Long dark winters and poor quality soil made it impossible to farm the land. But nourished by the warm Gulf Stream, the fertile waters surrounding Iceland offered a lifeline. The early islanders came to depend on fish to sustain them. They still do. Today, less than 1% of the entire island is cultivated for crops. Fishing is still a major source of income and a way of life. Fly fishing is Christian Davidson's favorite pastime, but he spent his working life in commercial fishing. Born in a small town north of Reykjavik, he learned his trade from his father. Christian remembers anxiously waiting at home with his mum and siblings whilst his dad was away for months, trawling the seas. It can't have been easy having five children in bed and a husband out at sea in all weather and not to know when he was coming back or if he was coming back. It didn't stop Christian wanting to follow in his father's footsteps. I'm trained in fish. I went to maritime college. I did my degree in fishing studies. I've spent my whole working life in fisheries in some way. It was a dangerous choice of career. Because although the North Atlantic waters that surround Iceland are plentiful, they're also wild. Turbulent weather systems collide off the island's coast, causing vicious storms and dangerous swirls. Over centuries, Icelandic sailors have learned to respect the ocean's power and to ask God's help to sail it with a prayer.
Which is as pure as that of their forefathers, the first Viking settlers. But Iceland's remoteness is no longer a barrier. The outside world has arrived, and it's a world in a state of flux. Economies are changing. Climates are warming. And energy is a commodity that everybody wants. In commerce and in culture, Iceland is already a global player. In a land's land, no one's listening. This far-flung island has the power to make an impact across the whole world. Somehow I'm sure and this I believe in. This is the, the earth is still active. The island is still being created. And living here is a unique challenge. A big country with a tiny population. Huge swathes of the interior are uninhabitable. But in an unforgiving landscape, Icelanders have learned to survive. Instead of farming the barren soil, they harvest the seas. Instead of escaping the wilderness, they're harnessing its power. For centuries, Iceland's physical isolation has shaped and protected its people. They've developed a unique and homogenous culture. Their language, path it chooses, will affect us all. Tradition or progress. Nature or industry. The old ways, or the new. Iceland is one of the least populated countries on Earth. And one of the wildest. A geological hotspot. Iceland also straddles one of the world's most volatile geological features, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It's a massive tectonic plate boundary, and it splits Iceland in half. As the islands can't separate their futures from the fate of humanity as a whole. In so many ways, these shores are the front line of global change. What happens here matters to us all. In the middle of the North Atlantic, at the edge of the Arctic Circle, lies an island nation on the knife edge of the world. Iceland is one of the most volatile places on Earth. Made by volcanoes, spewing out molten rock over millions of years. Remote, beautiful, mysterious, unique. Islands are worlds of their own. Places apart where life has evolved differently. 
But in our modern interconnected world, islands are also part of a global community that's changing, for better or worse. In this series, we're exploring the lives of islanders. We're discovering that no matter how distant they are from the mainland, how distinctive their histories, or how proud they are of their independence.